is crying feminine? Why is it that women cry five times more than men do every month? Well, it's not linked to one single cause. There are multiple reasons, all of which according to science. And I'll tell you, this is much more interesting than you would initially think it is. One thing we know is that testosterone actively inhibits crying, while prolactin may increase it. Testosterone also causes you to feel much more prone to anger and being irritable than, say, feeling sadness which is where terms like roid rage come into play. And not only do we have studies that support this, but we also have ample amounts of anecdotal evidence, not only from bodybuilders, but transsexuals who are on hormone replacement therapy. And despite being biological females, they say that they can't cry even though they want to. Overall, I do think that I express being sad a little differently than I did before. I'll very rarely cry even though I have the whole tears ready to go type feeling. So since I started testosterone, I actually haven't been able to cry. I definitely have sensed um, and noticed since transitioning that being on testosterone has made me cry less, which is very interesting because I believe that before I transitioned and started taking testosterone, I feel like not being able to cry as much, it makes me feel like, I'm like, damn, I wish I could cry right now, but it's not gonna happen. But why else do women cry more? Well, first off, we should have more sympathy for women, as women physically feel more pain than men. This is why they have a higher level of pain tolerance than men. Everything you feel as a man is much more for a woman. Men also have thicker skin than women by approximately 25%. We also have tougher skin. So that only adds to the situation where, where we physically feel less pain than women. And as a result, we're less inclined to cry because of physical pain. Now it makes a lot more sense when people say that you're thin skinned, but we haven't even asked the question yet. Why do we cry? Come up with a few. I'll give you a few seconds to think. Most likely, the common reasons why you cry are because of sadness, maybe feeling physical or emotional pain, and depression. Those are the most common reasons why people cry, which again is also different for women because when it comes to things like depression, it is measured differently between men and women. If you want to accurately measure depression in men, you don't look for things such as sadness. You look for things such as anger and frustration. So as a result, men are much less likely to cry at all. But wait, what about social norms? Because commonly what we will hear from the other side is that men in the past, it was a masculine thing to cry. Commonly leaders and men would cry. Is there validity behind this? When you look into what they say about men crying being masculine or associated with men, they aren't talking about you're simply feeling sad or you have a tummy ache or something hurts and you cry. That's not what they're talking about. That's not what historically happened. But what would happen was maybe your loved ones died. You were a leader or a captain and your brother, your brother in arms died in the battlefield alongside with you. You would cry about that. And also, of course, they would cry because of extreme pain like limb amputation. I mean, any of those three reasons we listed, which were the common reasons why they would cry, nobody would call you a for. Now let me ask you, what man in 2024 would look at you, see your leg being cut off and you're starting to cry and weep out of pain and say, look at you, you're such a bitch. Nobody would say that. Absolutely nobody in their right mind, not even the self-proclaimed ultra hyper masculine alpha males would do such a thing. Nobody in real life would hold you to such a standard. Of course it's okay to cry with that. Nobody's going to see you at your funeral and say, look at him. He He's such a p for crying at his mother's funeral. No, nobody, absolutely nobody is going to say that. But what about men in our current society where we do have men who try not to cry, who try to hold it in, and we also have men who judge those for crying. What about them? In my opinion, it's perfectly rational. I mean, we know empirically that crying is directly linked to testosterone. Testosterone is also linked to so many other masculine traits. Testosterone is linked to how strong you are. So crying as a result could be a direct indicator indicator of how low your testosterone is, how strong of a man you are. And of course, why are you crying? Is it because you're simply sad? You're not feeling good? Is it simply because your tummy hurts? 
If you're crying because of those reasons, it acts as a direct link to your testosterone. Now we can see which people have low T without actually taking a blood test. So no, I don't find it wrong at all if a man is crying because of a stupid reason and people judge him for it. Good. What about the guy who's holding it in though? I don't judge him at all. You're going to damage your reputation and your appearance in front of other people because of simply your emotions? Yeah, that's a sign of weakness. I'm not saying to suppress your emotions. If you really need to cry, you can cry. Go cry at home. Men cry, men cry once a month according to studies. I'm not saying that you are supposed to never cry. You're supposed to be this rock solid man of steel, also known as Stalin, fun fact. Stalin translates to man of steel, kind of like Superman. That's kind of funny. Now nobody's telling you to be a Stalin. Just don't cry for stupid reasons in public, in front of your group. If you care about how they see you at all, if they take you seriously whatsoever. And finally, don't believe what these people are saying where they try and gaslight you into thinking that your natural inclinations and instincts to judging people when it comes to their character and to their strength is simply a societal norm. It's not objective or real or reliable whatsoever. No, it is. Trust your instincts. And if you're a man who's repulsed by other men, who cry, who cry so freely over the smallest things and you judge them for it, good for you. Don't let anyone tell you you are wrong for it. Follow your instincts. Now that isn't the extremely sophisticated answer to these things. It's much more simple, but that's how reality is sometimes. It doesn't always need to be very complicated. Is crying feminine? Is crying weak? Yes, it's a direct indicator of your testosterone and how masculine you are according to science. And that is all. That, that's the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. This is a fun quickie one. It might have not been as high quality, but I'm trying to poop out videos much faster, and I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did enjoy this one, I guarantee you will enjoy what other videos I have. So be sure to check them out. Anyways, take care.